welcome to this vlog, you guys. Oh wow, I need to clean this mirror. <laughs> is what I'm realizing today down here. <laughs> I feel like Brody's nose gets all of it. I feel like the top of it isn't as dirty, but down here is where Brody licks it and stuff. Anyway, good morning. Welcome to the vlog. Brody's resting. We had a little walk this morning. I just did a Sculpt Society workout. I've been loving these. They're just like fun and motivate me. And yeah, I recommend. So now I'm gonna go shower, get ready. Welcome. I saw I made my caramel oat milk iced latte. I don't even know if I showed you putting caramel in. I used this caramel syrup and I did a little bit of that and it's so good. Kind of watered down now, but <laughs> I also had on like a really cute outfit and then I was like, you know what, this is making me feel worse. This is just not it today. Sometimes like, like getting ready, doing my makeup and hair and stuff definitely made me feel better, but sometimes like a really cute outfit, I'm just like, I'm uncomfortable. This is not the vibe. So I changed the sweatshirt it is, cozy blanket, and I've been feeling really like weird and just off and I was like, they're just gonna be able to tell in this vlog. So I figured we should just sit down and be really honest about my feelings. And I also feel like if I get it all out, I'm just gonna feel better and then we can like move forward, you know? But sometimes I feel like it's all like inside and so I just feel like communicating it always makes me feel better. Like whenever I go through hard things in life, if I talk about it with like my mom or my sister or something, I always feel better instead of just having all the thoughts like swirling around my brain. You know, maybe some of you guys are that way. Some people don't like talking about their feelings at all, but I'm such like a open person clearly you guys know and like communicative that it'll always make me feel better like chatting about it and stuff so this is just gonna be like an honest life update i feel like this i feel like i do this like every year during vlogmas i guess it's like the perfect time every year at the end of the year to just think about the past year and like where i'm at and stuff and i guess first of all i've been feeling weird it's just an adjustment and i feel like i'm definitely doing better than like last year at this time because i'm more used to it and i and I'm like mad at myself, but I need to not be mad at myself. I need to just like give myself grace, like it's okay. Because you guys know I've come like such a long way with my independence and I feel like I used to not, I mean, I know I used to not be independent at all. I didn't know how to enjoy my own company and spend time alone and all of that. So that was like such a learning thing for me. Probably in like 2020 is when I really was like, okay, I can be alone and be like a self-sufficient adult. And for those of you that like don't struggle with independence, you're probably like, what the heck? But just know that I grew up with the twin sister around me 24 7 and lived with a bunch of people in college so until I graduated college I never had to be alone ever and even right when I graduated the year after that I was roommates with my best friend and if she like I remember the first time I realized this was a problem she was leaving for the weekend and I'm like what do you mean like you can't go I've talked about this a bunch so I don't want to but you guys know that I like struggled with that a lot and I feel like I got so much better with it and I just learned how to like spend time alone and enjoy my own company and like take myself on dates and do things for myself but sometimes it's just hard and like I have just been feeling I think sad by it because to my nature I'm such like a social extroverted person and so when I go like days without speaking to any human beings in person I feel like it just makes me feel kind of like really down and just like I have no energy because I, I just know it. like extroverts like you get your energy from other people but I don't want it to let it like affect me that much so I think if I just like <laughs> address it and let it out and then go try to do things I'll feel better but all of this is to say that I feel like I've just been feeling weird being back here in Pennsylvania after the summer of being with people constantly like I had so many plans and so much fun and I was with friends family and max 24 7 because max didn't have hockey but now that he has hockey and he's been called up for a while and in philly it's just i am alone <laughs> all the time and I feel lonely but I need to remind myself that like just because you're alone doesn't mean you have to be lonely and you have to remind yourself of like all your friends and family that do care about you and you just need to like make the extra effort to go to workout class to like interact with human beings like it sounds so sad or just like make plans with people like I could definitely be better on my end of doing that um so I think that's a part of the reason why I've just been like feeling weird but just because I'm alone it doesn't mean I need to feel lonely like I'm doing okay I'm literally gonna see Mac later this week so 
sometimes it's just like hard for me mentally if I, I just let myself get really overwhelmed and I'll be like I'm not gonna see like a human being for a couple days and that's all on me like again I can go out in public and stuff I need to like leave this apartment I think when I just sit here by myself for a while I just get so consumed in my thoughts and the best way to get your mind off your own worries is to worry about something else do something else like literally go do something like volunteer even go read a book go just like stop worrying about yourself you know so that's just like in my head and but also it's like such a stark contrast because like the holidays like for Thanksgiving and stuff I was with my family on Long Island and we had so much fun and so then being back here I'm just like in a quiet apartment and I'm like oh my gosh I'm kind of sad but also I feel like the holidays are always sad for me in a way because my dad's gone I really don't want to cry during this I feel like I always cry during these but I feel like I've been doing so good with that but Obviously, if any of you lost someone close to you, you know, grieving is like such an up and down thing. Like, it's such a roller coaster, and I'll feel like I'm doing so good. And then I just let myself think too much about like Thanksgiving or Christmas, and it makes me so sad that he's not there deep down because he like loved cooking so, so much and was like, did all our Thanksgiving. So, obviously, I think about him so much on Thanksgiving, and you talk about all that you're grateful for. And me and my mom and sister are like, we are not grateful for that. <laughs> favorite person ever is gone and so that really never gets easier because I just feel like the holidays make you think of the people that aren't there and I know I talked recently in a vlog how my grandma is there but she's not there because she has dementia and she really doesn't know us anymore so I think like I've just been like sad about that <laughs> again you can tell I'm just like in my feels too much and I need to just stop worrying about myself but that's a whole thing and I also feel like this is like I feel like this is where I'll be emotional because this is me being like really honest and I feel like it took some self-reflection this year for me, me to really Really realize this I don't know if anyone else does this like during the holidays but I catch myself comparing myself and I have a whole podcast on this um, comparing myself to like past versions of myself so I really caught myself doing it this Thanksgiving where I'm like what have I even done in the last year like I feel like one year ago when I was here for Thanksgiving that feels like yesterday and I feel like I've done nothing in the last year and I'm like have I even grown as a person and and whether it's like career wise or like fitness wise I'm like oh I thought I really like had these fitness goals and that I'd like make some progress and like have I even done anything and I feel like I just look the same and sometimes my efforts are like I don't even notice if it's like physically or mentally or something and I'm like what have I even done like am I even doing good over here or like progressing and it makes me so sad that like timestamps of like Thanksgiving Christmas made me do that but and like this is so bad but I, maybe some of you relate where I feel like like this Thanksgiving or the year past I'll be like okay well next year will be different like I'll feel better and I'll be doing better and I'll like have more motivation to like work out or I'll like feel in more shape or like I just like have these like expectations and like standards and then they're not met and then I'm disappointed and like it's I don't know I just feel like I'm all over the place I feel like a mess sometimes and I feel like being with friends and family like I know this sounds so dumb and like I don't want to get hate because I am I would say like very healthy physically and like a very average sized human being but I feel like being around like friends and family members just like for me and like all my friends I just feel like I I don't even want to say this because it's like comes out wrong and then I'm gonna like get a hate or something but I just feel like sometimes I'm like bigger than like all my friends or family members and like physically I am like I sometimes can't like give them my clothes anymore if I have extra clothes because they're not gonna fit them because they're gonna be too big and like we can't share clothes and I just feel like all my friends are smaller than me which is fine like a lot of them are just physically a lot smaller that's how they're built they're like five foot two whatever being with my cousin Mandy who's just like naturally so petite and stuff but then sometimes I just let it get to me and like I'll feel like I've come so far with like like the body image stuff and then it's over Thanksgiving and you're eating so much food which is so much fun with family but then it just gets like really hard when I'm like my dress literally won't zip right now and like I know it sounds so stupid but I don't know I feel like it's just made me like mentally struggle a little bit and I'm like and I'm so mad at myself like Gretchen in the past looking forward to this honest life update would be like I feel like disappointed like shaking me by the shoulders like you've come so far with the body image stuff like everyone's supposed to look different and everyone's on their own path and it's okay to like be down and I just need to like stop worrying about it and just do the best I can do this is making me think of a quote in years past that made me feel so much better and it was basically like I'm gonna butcher this but like you need to not doubt yourself when you know that you're like trying your best and doing the best you can and like be confident in that and so if I'm like trying my best to like live a healthy lifestyle and like in that oh see then I struggle so much with like the food thing too even though I've come so far because it's like a part of me is like so healed and so good and it's like I'm just gonna eat whatever I want whenever I want especially Thanksgiving oh my god like give me all the 
pie and all the desserts and like I'm not gonna think about it I'm not gonna worry about it I'm just with friends and family this is so fun and joyful then the other half of me is like okay but you have like fitness goals and you want to keep wellness like a part of your life and you want to like make sure that you're fueling yourself with like nutritious food so then I feel like sometimes I'm like I want to eat the whole can of cinnamon rolls and that's good for my soul but also like some vegetables and nutrients will make me feel like the best version of me so then I just feel like I struggle with that kind of thing sometimes clearly there's been lots I've been worrying about now my makeup's probably like down my face but that's kind of where I'm at. If any of you are like comparing yourself to old versions of yourself mentally, physically, career-wise, just don't. <laughs> I just don't think it's doing any good for me or getting me anywhere and like it's all gonna be okay and you're right where you're supposed to be and you're not behind anyone else or your friends or anything and especially like the physical stuff like how you look literally only you notice little things that bother you like your friends and family just see like a beautiful joyful friend daughter cousin and they never even notice like five extra pounds or that your dress doesn't zip all the way up. you know so it's like it's literally it doesn't matter and I need to stop worrying about it and I need to just focus on other things <laughs> But that's kind of like where I'm at right now and I need to not this is the Pisces in me being like sensitive emotional and kind of like existential like always worrying about like long term in life and I feel like losing a parent makes you really like grasp on so tight to everyone and puts so much meaning on everything but like it's gonna be okay and I need to stop worrying about like the future and I guess this is me being really honest something that I get sad about is what I will leave you with maybe some of you will be excited but I feel like because I feel like I always dodge it, but well I guess I talked about it when I saw the psychic and she was like you'll be engaged by like next summer or whatever and I feel like that's something that's like been on my mind more like I truly feel like I will be engaged with Max will be engaged within like the next year and that's something that like I don't know I feel like I've just been thinking about more recently and then a part of me just gets so sad knowing that like my dad isn't gonna be here to do like any like big things in life I just want to tell him so bad and I just want him to be a part of it and so yeah I just have all these like worries in my brain and I want to like feel a certain way and look a certain way and be healed and be good with like my grieving journey and then it just feels like a lot of pressure and then I'm like disappointed in myself when I feel like I'm not there and like yeah, I need to stop worrying. Get it together, Gretchen. It's all gonna be okay. <laughs> And I get mad at myself too whenever I'm feeling like weird because like I'm so blessed and I'm so happy with where I'm at in life and I feel like so lucky for the life I get to live and my career and my dog and my home like I just feel so so fortunate and privileged and so then it's like I get mad at myself like what is there to be upset about you know but it's like your feelings are valid. It's all gonna you know what I need to do right now? Go on a drive. Literally, my car is like my safe place. I don't know if any of you feel that way. I always feel like independent and like I'm doing something for me when I'm like driving somewhere in my car that might sound stupid, but I don't know. I swear that was a part of me and like my independence journey is like literally going places by myself. So I'm gonna go buy myself lunch and getting out of the house is gonna make me feel so much better. And I've been wanting to bring Brody to the dog park, so maybe later tonight, when, cause like in the evening is when all the doggies go. And so I love going when like, there's so many other dogs there. And like that brings me so much joy and it's gonna make me get out of my own head and just put a smile on my face that Brody's gonna be running around with other dogs. Cause like those little simple things really just like make me feel better and are a mood booster. So if you are having any struggles, I just feel like also during the holidays, it's like the perfect storm of feeling overwhelmed so then you can get like really emotional and all these like feelings can come up just like go feed the birds or walk your dog or like go for a drive and get yourself a coffee or a journal or read or something and like I just feel like those little things help me feel a lot better so it's kind of like where I'm at in my little honest life update but it's gonna be okay and before I can think about and worry about what's in my head even more we're gonna go get lunch turn our day just around came with me for the ride Yep, Brody. <laughs> I need a bite right now, you guys. I'm so hungry. I just put the dressing on top and it looked way cuter before because you could actually see the chicken, tomatoes, cucumbers, feta, hummus, falafel. This is my favorite one from Core Life. It's like the Greek chicken salad. Yum. It's later. We're doing better. We're doing better. 
I've turned my day around. Sorry, I didn't vlog since lunch, but it's actually dinner time and I'm so hungry. And I just feel like sometimes things are meant to be. This just cheered me up. I'm like, you don't know how much I needed this today. Had a rough day. Look what just came in the mail in the nick of time because my fridge was empty and you guys saw I went up for lunch and I was about to be like, I, I don't know, <laughs> to eat like frozen corn and call it a night. My hell of fresh <laughs> And this is a sign. <laughs> from God, from the world. It's gonna be okay. I really need a home-cooked meal. This literally just got here. I'm like, thank you. Thank you, HelloFresh. I need you to do this. So I'm gonna unbox this, and we're gonna see what we're gonna make for dinner. You guys know HelloFresh is my most favorite thing ever. Thank you so much, HelloFresh, for working with me on this video. I have purchased my own subscription for years now. I'm literally their number one fan. Hey, this is so fun because normally I feel like it doesn't come like as I'm filming and so you guys can pick the recipe with me that we are gonna cook. Ooh, I've never had a shrimp one. I already know that I want that. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I've never had a shrimp one. Sizzling ways and shrimp. We got barbecue burgers, oh my God, yum. And citrus pork tacos. I always love their taco ones too. But I can't believe I've never had a shrimp one. Okay, I'm gonna unbox all this, put it all away, and we'll get cooking. You can help me come up. Oh, that is so nice of you. What would I do without you? Okay, like I said, we're doing the shrimp. Just gonna take out all the ingredients right here. You guys, my favorite thing each week is looking on the HelloFresh app and scrolling through all the recipes. Like obviously this one's a new one that I haven't tried before. There's over 35 new recipes each week to choose from. And like I said, I just do on my app. It's so easy to pick the ones I wanna do. And especially if you're like traveling during the holiday season, you can change your preferences, your delivery date. It's literally so simple. And this one says it's around 30 minutes to cook, 10 minutes of prep, but they have even quicker and easier options, literally 20 minutes, like quick and easy cleanup. So it's so ideal. You can add an extra protein if you want. You can swap out things. So it even says right there, hello custom. There's family friendly, there's veggie. There's like so many options. They make it really, really easy. So I believe my code has changed from the last time it changes time to time. So if you guys haven't tried it at HelloFresh before, couldn't recommend enough. So HelloFresh, link down below. Obviously they're my favorite. I recommend them so, so much. Go to HelloFresh.com and use my code at GGYT18. You'll get 18 free meals plus free shipping. Shipping. So now let's get cooking. How good this turned out you guys it turned out so pretty i may have snuck a bite of shrimp already it's so good i forgot how much i loved shrimp and i'm so happy that i picked out this recipe since it's a new one love trying something new so good you guys i didn't even try this but i already know okay, let's get some lime on there i love some lime okay ready Let's get our first bite. Let's get like a little bit of everything. Come on, green bean, you can do it. Mm, mm, mm. The sauce that we put on the shrimp is so good. Mm. I feel like I say this every time, but this may have to be one of my new favorites. Okay, I'm gonna eat my dinner. Max's game tonight. I don't even know if I told you guys that. So that's what we're gonna do later. And don't forget, HelloFresh link down below. Use my code GGYT18 for 18 free meals, free shipping, hellofresh.com. That says it all. <laughs> so dark. 
Oh yeah, happy dog. He's so much running around. It's later, I'm watching Max's game right now. Nine minutes left in the third. I was gonna vlog earlier, I'd never updated you guys, but they're up 2-1. Everyone cross their fingers. I'm also wearing this new PJ set. I just opened, I ordered it on Revolve. Isn't it cute? It's just like silky and yellow and I thought it was kind of like happy and fun. Oh, I just thought I was recording and then I wasn't so I just talked for like a whole minute. But, we're watching Max. I already said cross our fingers, right? Because they're up. We need a win right now. Oh, is that Max? I can't tell. Oh yeah, it was. <laughs> okay, good timing. <laughs> um, I was showing you guys though, but now... He's laying down. Our real number one fan. Can we show them? Yeah, yeah. There we go. Thank you. Oh, look, he's wearing his Flyers bandana, you guys. Is that good luck? Yeah. Are you watching? He literally, like, watches the TV, you guys. Are you watching? <laughs> he's like, I'm tired from the dog park, woman. Say, go, Max. Go. Win, Brody! Yay! Let's see if they show Max. Go! Oh, there he is, right there. Seventy-one. If you saw that, yeah! So exciting. Speaking cozy. Oh, I'm about to get all tucked in, you guys. I'm just going to read a little bit. I can't believe I still haven't finished this book. I've been reading it a while. I just stopped reading it because I was reading, um, what's it called? It Starts With Us. And I literally like jumped ship in the middle of this book because uh, It Starts With Us came out and I had to read that. But it's been a while since then and I just haven't picked this back up. But I really need to finish because I feel like it gets so good. My twin sister loved it and says that it's like so good. So I need to finish. The other issue is I love... My bookmark is now in the back because I lost my spot in the book. So I need to like read to see where I am in the middle, you know? But anywho, I'm just going to read before I go to bed. I feel like that always makes me feel better. It helps me get tired and everything. And if I'm on my phone before I go to bed, I can stay up like all night. But today turned out pretty good after all, especially with a win. Did I say that we won? Did I not vlog? Or no, I did. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Oh, I have amnesia. I'm tired. Okay, well, we're gonna read and get really cozy and then we off to bed. Huh. <laughs> so I'm gonna end off this vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Okay, P.S. Putting this in at the end here because I'm realizing I didn't do a question of the day when I ended off this vlog so Brody and I were just thinking about it we were chatting we were like what do we make the question of the day be selfishly please comment down below your favorite food slash like favorite meal that you make or like meal that you make most often something like that because I feel like I need new ideas aside from my HelloFresh I eat like eggs and toast yogurt oatmeal yeah <laughs> so if you have like quick easy favorite things please comment down below i'm so curious to know okay we're gonna say goodbye now goodbye thanks for watching